What's going on, Wild Black family? This is Vince. First off, you know the season is over. But while we're gone, we wanted to give you a little information to help you through the holidays. So what you're about to hear is very, very short, but it's from our friend, Wild Black's friend, Attorney Eklan Mercy. And today she's going to tell you a little bit about how to handle yourself during encounters with the police over the holidays. She's going to talk Miranda rights, encountering the police, when they can search, when they can't search, and what you should do and say during a traffic stop. So pay attention. Happy holidays. Listen up. Peace. Hello, this is Attorney Heckler Mercy, and this is your Mercy Minute. Today, we're going to talk about encountering police officers during a traffic stop. Now, if a police officer asks you to get out of the vehicle, should you comply? Yes. Now, if a police officer asks you to consent to a search, should you consent? No. However, when can a police officer search your vehicle? I'll tell you. One, if you consent to a search. Two, if there is probable cause to believe that there is evidence of a commission of a crime. Three, evidence of a crime is plain view or can be identified by plain smell. For example, raw versus burnt marijuana. And lastly, search incident to a lawful arrest. So if you are driving your car and you don't have your registration or you do not have your license, that could provide the police officer with probable cause to search your car. Miranda writes, You know, Miranda writes, the right to remain silent, the right to understand that everything you say can and will be used against you, the right to have an attorney if you can't afford one. These are your Miranda rights. Now, when must police read your Miranda rights? It is important to know that the police are only required to Mirandize a suspect if they intend to interrogate the person under custody. That means that if they already seen the crime, they don't have to ask you any questions. They don't need to uh, Mirandize you. But If they are going to ask you questions, they must Mirandize you. Now, it does not have to be word for word like on television, but it is up to you to say, no, I do not consent to the search. No, I do not want to talk to you. And yes, I would like to speak to an attorney. Make sure that you do not waive your rights. In order to make sure that you do not waive your rights, you have to be specific and tell the officer, no, I do not consent to the search. No, I do not want to talk to you. And yes, I would like my attorney present. What to say when encountering police. Now, these are the statements to remember when encountering police officers when you are not in your car. All right. So first, I do not consent to a search. Make sure that you are saying, I do not consent to a search. The word consent is a term of art. And once you say that, that triggers your protection. Number two, am I free to go? Make sure that you state, am I free to go? That question tells the officer, hey, is she detained or not? Okay. Number three, I have nothing to say until I speak with my attorney. Make sure you say, I have nothing to say until I speak to my attorney. All three of these phrases are terms of art and will trigger your constitutional protections. So to review, I do not consent to a search. Am I free to go? And I have nothing to say until I speak to my attorney. Now, at that point, if the officer does not have probable cause for an arrest, you are actually free to go. However, if the officer still detains you and arrests you, do not say anything. Let the attorney argue your case for you. Do not argue your case on the side of the road. All right? That is your Mercy Minute. Bye. What's going on, Wild Black family? This is Vince again. I hope you learned something from what Attorney Mercy just broke down for you. I wanted to make sure you knew how to get in contact with her if you needed something. You can hit her on IG at mercylaw underscore G-A. M-E-R-C-Y-L-A-W underscore G-A. Peace.